We're at the Ume de Sky building. It's a really cool looking building in Osaka where you can get a view of the city. What's special about the Umeda Sky building is it's these two towers going up with nothing in the middle and you can see this escalator going across through nothing and that goes up to the observatory at the top. Kind of hard to see at night, there's nothing there. <laughs> and there's a walkway going across a bit further down. And there's actually two escalators, one up, one down maybe. Have a look at my other videos for more things to do in Osaka. And there's new Japan videos every Thursday if you subscribe and click the notification bell. And there's this water feature outside. It looks nice. And this garden wall, this probably looks better in the daytime when you can see the greenery. There's also restaurants in this building, there's quite a selection here. Oh look, there's a cocoa curry. Oh I see, they've got various ticket packages here. So if you go to the Floating Garden Observatory, that's what we're going to. Uh, Cine Libre Umeda. Oh, it's a cinema. The Art Museum or the bus terminal. <laughs> you can get a discount at the restaurants or something free. We're going up to floor 39, I think. My ears popped. <laughs> The ticket counter for the observatory is on the 39th floor. For adults, it's a thousand yen. Ah, oh, the rooftop's outdoors. No hats, no umbrellas, no food and drink. No smoking. You've got a hat on, feel you're breaking the rules. <laughs> at the moment, it's open 9.30 till 10.30, last mission at 10. That might change throughout the year, so check that if you're coming. Both sides look exciting. We've got the city that side, and there's a whole building that side. <laughs> Let's go this way first. Wow, so many skyscrapers. That side was more exciting than this one. <laughs> but I'm thinking, do we get to go on the escalators outside? I can't see anyone on them at the moment. They've got these cozy chairs. None of them are free, everyone's taken them up. <laughs> oh, look at the, the Ferris wheel. It's got um, projections on it. Oh, wow. Look at that. They're projecting writing. Yeah. That's really cool. We've been to quite a few observatories. What do you think? I don't know if this is a bit lower than some of the others, but the view looks really stunning. I, it feels like we're looking sort of that angle out on all the buildings rather than completely down on them. So they seem a bit bigger and they're, like, they're all like, <laughs> they're right there. <laughs> I don't know if that's what makes it look so stunning. So compared to the sky tree, this is a lot shorter. I think most buildings are a lot shorter <laughs> compared oh, yeah. to the sky tree. <laughs> uh, but it's about the same as like the metropolitan buildings, probably. Yeah. I can't really remember. But it is a really nice view of the city and one we've never seen before. It really is. Tokyo has as many skyscrapers, obviously. I don't know, this just really seems to be coming at you, this one. <laughs> and it's nice to see it at night as well. During the day, things get a bit lost. Like you certainly wouldn't see this sea of lights that never yeah. actually ends. Like. They're just red flashing lights everywhere, probably more than you can pick up on the camera. And, then and the, the city red, just doesn't end. The red ones are the ones that are tall enough to be a problem for planes, aren't they? That's why they have them. Uh, I think so, yeah. And there's but, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, no plane's going to miss it. I really like the nighttime views. It's more magical. It is. Or as it's getting dark, then two for one. Mm, good call. Can you see the river from here? I think over there. I think upstairs you can see all the way around. Ah, let's go upstairs. 360 degrees view. There's a cafe up here. They've got sundaes, floats, coffees and drinks. At the moment they've got a sakura float for the cherry blossom season. Oh, and they've got hot dogs that says France dog. Warabi mochi. I think it's a traditional Japanese sweet. Here's the view from the other side. And that big gap in the middle is the river. It looks really wide. Says, do not touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was how they built it. Yeah, in there. The unprecedented lift up method. Shall we look? One of the top 20 buildings around the world. Don't touch the screen. Everybody's watching. <laughs> this is really cool. We've come upstairs. Look at the fancy ball. <laughs> it's really quiet up here. 
You can hear the city faintly along with my my carry or whatever the soundtrack is. <laughs> but yeah, a lot quieter than you might expect. Here's the side with the river. You can see all the cars going across. Here's all the heart padlocks. They have these at a lot of places. There's another Ferris wheel down there. I think that's the one on the top of Hep 5 shopping centre. There's also one on Del Tombori on Don Quixote. Looks like we've got a lot of Ferris wheels. I'd given up hope, but we do get to go on the fancy escalators just as you're leaving. There's the other one over there. It's not scary at all, is it? But then I'm not scared of heights. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Were you scared up there? Uh, I didn't like the against the crater, like the inside. Oh, <laughs> the, the crater. The rest of it was alright, because there was a ledge. It's boring being back on the ground. Oh yeah, there's the walkway. That's actually the reflection of the roof you could see on the camera. <laughs> Is that the lift that we just went down? Oh yeah, it must be. I can see you in the building here. <laughs> like a monster. Top 20 buildings around the world. Come down to the basement level of the Sky Building and there's a little ramen museum down here. It's like the ramen museum we went to in Yokohama. It's themed like an old town and all the ramen shops look like individual buildings. If it's like the one in Yokohama, they have ramen from different places and different styles of ramen. Hey me! <laughs> look where we are. How much fun did you have? Not just fun. Fun fun. Two funds. Two fun, double fun. Two funds. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good observatory. All cities seem to have something like this or a place where you can see a city view, but this was a really stunning view. A bit worried this sculpture's like mousetrap and it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> so anyway, if you wanna come here, it's at Umeda Station, that's in Osaka. Umeda is an area towards the north of the center of Osaka and it's got lots of high-rise buildings and skyscrapers and department stores, loads of shops and restaurants and lots going on.